Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Boolean Union and Difference tool to merge and subtract 3D shapes from one another in Rhino 7. In this tool we're going to be combining and subtracting a few of these 3D objects that we've made together using these tools. And the Boolean Union and Difference tool can be found over in the solid menu here. And if we open up that menu and just drag it out for the time being. You can find these tools under these two initial icons which look like two spheres intersecting with one another. Now the way these work is we're going to begin with the Boolean Union tool and we're going to use it to combine two of these three-dimensional shapes together. If I take my grey block here and we're just going to insert it into the red one just by kind of moving it using the gumball into position like so and let's move it up slightly. You'll see here that the two objects are intersecting, but they're still two separate objects and they're not really kind of forming a nice edge where they combine. It's just that one 3D shape is kind of inserted into the other. If we want to unify these into one main shape, that's where we can use the Boolean Union tool. And this can be done just by selecting the objects and clicking Boolean Union like so. There you'll see that this is now unified into one complete object and we've got a nice kind of edge crease where those objects combine at those two points there. So that's the Boolean Union tool which is used for combining objects together. The Boolean Difference tool does the opposite of this and this can be found in the icon next to that Boolean Union tool. What we're going to do now is going to take this blue shape here and we're just going to rotate it around and just move it so it inserts itself into this shape like so and I'm going to try and get it so it's inserting into both of these objects like this. What we're then going to do is just make sure it's completely bisecting through those objects that's so coming out of the top and the bottom there almost like a cookie cutter chopping out that piece of object. Then we're going to select the boolean difference tool to subtract this blue object from the red one here. To do this we're just going to select the tool we're going to begin by selecting the object we want to keep, which is the red object here, hitting enter on our keyboard, and then selecting the object we want to delete, which is the blue object. If we hit enter again, it will remove that blue object from the red one and then delete the resulting geometry. As you can see, we're now left with this kind of cutout shape out of our red extrusion there. Now this is how we can begin to start modeling slightly more complex shapes just from our initial extrusions that we pulled up from our simple 2D geometry. So from here you can actually start to kind of merge shapes together, subtract them from one another. We could do this with these sort of simple 3D objects as well if we wanted to subtract this sphere from this object too. I could use that Boolean difference tool, selecting my object I want to keep, selecting the sphere and subtracting them from one another like so. And you see very quickly we can start to make some quite complex geometry using these techniques. Now, if you wanted to keep these segments, i.e. this blue segment that we're subtracting, we can make sure we keep that subtraction object before it's deleted when using the Boolean difference process. In order to do this, we can select Boolean difference, select the object we want to subtract from, which is the red one in this case, and then before we select the blue one, we're just going to go up to the menu in the command bar here, and where it says delete input, we're going to click that and make it equal to no. What this means is when we select our blue object and hit enter, it will still chop that object out, but it won't delete that object that we're using to cut our shape with. And this is quite useful if you want to make objects that intersect with one another, like so. So we keep both objects, but we still get that kind of intersection or that cutout from one object to the other. So that was just a quick video tutorial on how to use the Boolean Union and Boolean Difference tools in Rhino. I hope you found this video useful and please check out the next video for more essentials on Rhino 7.